Today is a very important day in sports history, maybe the most important. April 15th, 1947, Jackie Robinson took the field for the first time with the Brooklyn Dodgers and broke Major League Baseball's longstanding color barrier. Jackie went 0 for 3 that day, but of course from there he'd go on to play 10 seasons for the Dodgers in his Hall of Fame career and change sports and the world forever. Dominique and Damian and Rex are all with me here this morning, and I'd love everyone just to share a thought if they could on this. And, and Nick, I'll start with you. What, what, as, as we mentioned that today yeah. is Jackie Robinson Day, what thought comes to your mind? No, I mean, I think Jackie Robinson, we kind of kind of distill his career down to just that one moment where he broke the color barrier. I think what I remember him for and what I appreciate more is how he maintained his political and social activism far after his career, and he went as far as to, in his autobiography, to say that I can't stand and sing an anthem, I can't salute a flag, for a, because I know that I'm a black man in a white world. So his progress from the way that he felt when he broke the color barrier, being a very conservative, kind of a politically conservative social rights activist, to becoming one who was a little bit more militant is one that I appreciate, and I'll remember for Jackie Robinson more so than what he did on the field, even though he was a <coughs> fantastic player and set precedent for us in this country for heading in a better direction as far as racial equality is concerned. He would. How about you? Yeah, listen, I echo all the sentiments that Dominique just said. And just to add on it, just thinking, you know, for me, when I think about Jackie Robinson, I think about what exactly he had to go through because he was the one. There's always a first. And for Jackie Robinson to be the first, what he had to endure, you know, as a, as a professional athlete, traveling, you know, traveling games, playing games at home, you know, just hotel, all the little things that, as a current, as a former athlete that played in this modern era that we take for granted the things that he had to endure just so a guy like myself and Dominique and others could just enjoy all the fruits and labors of playing, um, you know, playing in, in, in professional sports. And I'm forever indebted to what Jackie Robinson endured so I could be able to do the things that, that I did during my professional career. Now, Rex, we cannot help but notice you're wearing a Jackie Robinson jersey for the show today. What, can you tell us about that? We understand he's your favorite player. Well, he's one of my favorite players, and, and when I go back and look at the significance that that this had, I mean, Jackie Robinson integrated uh, Major League Baseball. We all understand that, but he did that before our military was was integrated. So that's how huge this was, and I think this is an opportunity to recognize four other uh, men that we don't really talk about because Jackie Robinson broke into the majors actually in '47. In 46, there were four other men that played professional football, the NFL, if you will. Two guys, uh, Kenny Washington um, and then Stroud, they played with the, uh, with the LA Rams. And then uh, two future Hall of Famers, Marion Monley and Bill Willis, played for the Cleveland Browns. They actually broke in uh, before Robinson did uh, professionally. So those are four guys that we don't even talk about, but I certainly remember uh, being a football historian. So to me, obviously the impact is unbelievable. It's, it's been felt and we understand it right now with everybody, you know, retiring uh, Jackie Robinson's 42 number. So we get it. And to me, that, that significance of, of him, that uh, integration by those five men, to me, uh, is, is tremendous. That's well said. Now, I'd add one more name, and that is the name of Larry Doby, who I think is too often overlooked in all of this. But Larry Doby integrated the American mm -hmm. League in the same year that Jackie Robinson did, just a short time after Jackie came up in the National League and went all sorts of places Jackie had never been and was never going to go and endured many of the same things and is frequently not nearly as well remembered. That would be a good thing to Google today if you have a little time. Anyway, again, Jackie Robinson Day today. If your kids don't know about it, it'd be a good time to explain it to them. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.